me up, you set the sun. I think it's fair to say that Christina and I had a fairly typical childhood sibling dynamic growing up together. I can remember many, many good times as little girls religiously watching Ninja Turtles and playing Lincoln Logs. Later as teenagers talking about boys, although she would never tell me the good stuff. And then today as adults seeking important advice from each other as we make life decisions. If I didn't know anything about Will, I would say that he's a great guy because it takes someone special to handle a Scalzo girl. And also because I know my sister would never accept anything less than the best. But I do know something about Will. I know that Will loves her and their crazy brood of baby cats, that he shares her love for traveling, and that he brings her cups of tea, an absolute must. We have come together in this church so that the Lord may seal and strengthen your love in the presence of the people of God. Christ abundantly blesses this love. He has already consecrated you in baptism, and now he enriches and strengthens you by a special sacrament so that you may assume the duties of marriage and mutual and lasting faithfulness. I, Christina, take you, William, to be my husband. I promise to be true to you, in good times and in bad. In sickness and in health, I will love you and honor you. All the days of my life. The world is covered in I thought I'd give you a few snippets of what life was like growing up with us. Growing up, Will was always following me around. Uh, one of my fondest memories is how he would put on a backpack and follow me to school. And, you know, I could repay that adoration in the way that only an br older brother could inflict on a younger brother. So, of course, when it was his turn to go to school, it was often my job to go pick him up after school. And more than once, um, I would forget. And when I finally would show up, he would be sitting on the stairs crying. Despite all that, Will has always been the most supportive brother, and I'm proud to have you know, seen him grow into a caring son, and now aspiring dancer, <laughs> and a loving husband. And I'm just as proud, Christina, to now be able to call you my sister. Fortunately for me, as the older sister, Christina had to do most of the work, fighting for later bedtimes and curfews, for first cars and more. She'll tell you I had it easy because of her. But unbeknownst to her, she also made my life quite difficult in always setting very, very high standards. And I always had to try to do my best to live up to her. What she doesn't know is that she has always been the most important role model in my life um, and always striving for the best. She set an amazing example for me. She always encouraged me she protected me when I needed protecting, and she taught me that we can achieve anything we want to achieve. Love is both a noun and a verb, and everybody wants the feeling, the noun, but people often forget that it's the verb, the actions, that make the love, the noun, last. Congratulations, and we all look forward to being a part of your married life and sharing the joys and blessings that your life will bring. To the couple, may today mark a loving and everlasting journey as partners. May you encourage each other and inspire each other. May you hold each other. And may you never forget the verbs. Congratulations to my beautiful sister and her handsome groom.